Well, you may not have known this, but we do have a pro bowler in our midst in the Midlands, Justin Bethel, yes. proud Blythewood Bengal, yeah. and an even prouder Arizona Cardinal now, yes, sir. coming off a pro bowl. Um, you're a hidden kind of treasure here. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, we hear about when the Pro Bowl invita invitations go out. We didn't mm -hmm. hear your name, unfortunately, and we should have. Yeah. You're one of our guys. Yeah, it happens. It but happens. Um, two years into the NFL now, mm -hmm. and um, we were talking a little bit before we sat down. He said, you know, I just want to go play in college, and mm -hmm. here I am now in the NFL. I mean, it's still kind of like a surreal feeling for you? Uh, yeah, it's, to even think that I'm going into my third year, it's, uh, it seemed like it, just yesterday I was going into rookie camp you know, just not coming out of college from PC and uh, getting ready to go for the draft and all that stuff. And um, I've been having success, um, went to the Pro Bowl, and now I'm going to my third year looking to get some more time on defense. And so, you know, uh, it's been a blessing, and I'm just ready to see what let's see what's in store. Uh, you played for a, a familiar name around here, Jeff Scott yeah. at Blythewood, and uh, you liked him so much you followed him to college. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I had to. You know, he, he gave me the opportunity, a uh, full ride, you know, go to a school where I'm going to get mm -hmm. a good degree. I ended up, I graduated with my degree in business administration. And uh, not only that, I ended up going to the NFL. So, um, you know, I thank him for that and giving, that, yeah. giving me that chance and seeing that in me. Now he went to Presbyterian. I mean, it's just not, it's not a school many folks would associate with NFL dreams. It really isn't. But yeah. you, you've made good on that. Yeah, yeah. I, I did. It's all about hard work. And uh, I always just wanted to be the best at what I was doing. So it paid How? off. How much did you pay attention to all the combine stuff? Did you go to the combine yourself? Yeah, you I did. Was, okay, I ended up going to the combine. What is that like? You get you get up there and it's almost like you're poked and prodded, and they, you know you stand up there in front of everybody in your underwear. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's it's really taxing on those guys. You know, you're there for three four days, and um, some days you're you know, there's one specific specific day where you're just all it's all about going to see every team's trainers, and that's where all the poking and prodding yeah. comes there. Tugging on this, trying to, oh, is this hurting? Well, I mean, you pull on it hard enough. Yeah, Everything's going to hurt, yeah. <laughs> and uh, then there's times where you got to go and for like a 30 minutes to an hour, you're just, you're just getting tossed around, talking to different coaches about this and that. And, uh, and then on all of that, you know, you're trying to try to impress everybody because yeah. these are the guys who are going to hire you or, uh, and make your future brighter. So um, it, it's, it can be stressful. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's what we do, and yeah. you got to be ready for it. How pressure packed is it? Because he's just, it's there's gotten so much covered. It's really blown up over the last ten years or so. And you watch it over the last few days, and it's just nonstop. Yeah, I mean they they pick you apart. Yeah, it it is. But uh, like I said, you know, coming into those guys, they know they're getting into, and uh, and if they can't handle that, uh, they they're not ready for the NFL because <laughs> there's a lot more of it that goes on after you uh, make it. Yeah. Well, you know, talking about the combine, one of the guys from around here, Jadevian Clowney, South uh, Carolina yeah. guy. You said you're, you're forced to pay attention to him because <laughs> yeah, it just, you, it's crammed it's, down, down everyone's throat. It's just the name we hear over and over again every single day, something about him. What you know about him, how do you think he'll do at the next level? You've played against these guys that are there. Yeah, um, you know, with his, his speed and his size and his strength, uh, the thing, you know, and you've, hear, you've been hearing a lot about his work ethic. That's, that's really going to be the biggest thing for him. Um, as long as he comes out there with the... the the want to to go out there and make plays and make stuff happen and get into his playbook and learn all that. Uh, he, I mean, the sky's the limit for him. And you know, uh, the NFL is made for guys like him yeah. um, who are just ready. They're they're just athletically gifted and they're ready to go out there and they're hungry. Well, you've you've made it to what would be a dream for most people that play football, but it's a big part of your life. And you, you're talking about maybe starting some some efforts around here, back home. That would help some younger kids maybe get to that level someday, or at least you know get involved in the game of football and get some structure in their life. You want to start doing some youth camps, maybe. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, I want to go back to Blythewood and, um, and give back to them, and uh, you know, help bring stuff to this community where you know, kids get the chance to go to college, and even if they don't make it to the NFL, you know, getting to college on a sports uh, scholarship, like we were talking about before, you know, student loans can kill people, and uh, so you want to get those those kids the chance to go out there and get a degree and better their lives and uh, give them a brighter future. Was the NFL always your end goal? Because you said you didn't even think about it. It actually of. it actually was not my yeah. end goal. I had not even thought about the NFL or being able to make it until like my junior year in uh, college. Um, I was going to go uh, to Johnson & Wales and be a chef. That was I had, I had done culinary all throughout high school. Uh, I was really good at it. 
Um, and, you know, when Jeff Scott ended up going to PC and getting that chance to coast there, he came to me and was like, you know, Justin, uh, if you come here, you, you probably can start, you know, and uh, you get a full ride. And so I was like, you know, I'm going to take advantage of this. And um, it worked out for me. Ended up getting my degree and made it to the Arizona Cardinals. The kitchen will always be there, right? Yeah. yeah <laughs> kitchen will always be there. there. So you still you can cook. You're pretty good? Yeah, I can All cook right, when, I, when, I, when I want to. You know, you got to get me up to do it sometimes, but I can still do it. You got a specialty? Actually, one of my favorite things to do is I still can make cheesecakes from scratch. Really? Yeah, and I, when I'm in Arizona, sometimes I'll just um, try and make some stuff up and uh, see what I can do. So Teammates I've, I've, set you up for stuff? They're away from home? <laughs> want, 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 yeah, they want to go home cook something? Yeah, I've had some, I've had some <laughs> friends ask me to uh, specifically make certain kinds, and I've done it for them. So. All right. Very good. Yeah. Is it something you might pursue after your career, maybe get into the restaurant business or something? You think? We'll see. I got uh, There's a lot of other things I want to do. Yeah. Um, one mainly is I'm, I'm a musician. I've been playing since I've been playing the drums since I was six years old. I'm learning to play the bass, and uh, all my family, you know, we all are musicians. And me and my little brother and my older brother were actually coming out with a jazz CD. So that's something really? that I think I'm gonna really uh, pursue and start uh, getting into that. So it's not all about football for Justin Bethel. He yeah. may be a pro bowler at yeah. the NFL level, but he is a real renaissance man. Yeah. you got a lot of different interests. Glad you came in. Yeah, I'm glad you're uh, having me. Good to learn a little about you. And good luck with the, uh, the camps. Once you get them going, I'm sure yeah. they'll be pretty receptive yeah. out at Blythewood. Justin Bethel, Arizona Cardinals, Presbyterian College, yeah. and don't forget Blythewood Bengals joining us here. Thank you. Yeah, no problem.